tax, unfair pay, and legal ramifications, all concerns outlined in an internal memo to the mayor obtained by Two News investigators. It's in regards to a city employee study that's set to be released. Two News investigator Marla Carter broke the story for us last night. She joins us live from City Hall. Marla? Karen, these memo is coming from the city attorney. It outlines concerns from a Minneapolis-based consultant group about employee jobs. Consultants from that group were supposed to be here in Tulsa today, but that meeting was suddenly canceled. City employees work hard every day, and their pay and job title is at the heart of a year and a half long study. The study found there are too many titles for the same job, so it recommends reducing those titles and instead grouping employees in similar roles and similar pay. But the findings concern the city attorney. In a memo obtained by the two news investigators, the attorney says there are, quote, internal inequities and legal concerns. Still, the consultant, Jim Fox, defends their approach. No, we didn't change anybody's job. We just saw that they were doing the same work, so we classified them and titled them the same. That's where the city attorney has a problem. He says the new job classifications don't take into account seniority or education. I think his concerns are justified with salaries. Tulsa City Councilor Jeannie Q says she wants to make sure employees are paid fairly. Our city employees are our foundation. The Civil Service Commission, a group that votes on city employee issues, was supposed to look at the new recommended job classifications today. But the item was suddenly pulled off the agenda. Councilor Q thinks that might be a good thing. We don't want to make any quick decisions because that could cost us more in the long run. The mayor's office declined our request for an on-camera interview, but did send a statement saying, in part, the study is a large undertaking and they are still evaluating it. You can read the entire statement on our website, kjreach.com. It's a story the 2 News investigators will continue to follow. Reporting live from downtown Tulsa, Marla Carter, 2 News works for you. Thank you, Marla. Going more in depth now on the Tulsa study, streamlining pay scales in the larger groups is based on putting people who make the same types of decisions into the same group. It's called decision banding and was developed by a professor in Scotland over 30 years ago. Fox Lawson and Associates formed in 1995 and bought the rights to the methodology to use in their consulting business all over the country. Tulsa is the first in the state of Oklahoma to commission Fox Lawson for a pay scale study.